Hey guys, it's Hexer18. How's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do some basic in-map scans, um, the ones that I use the most. Um, in Backtrack 5, uh, that's they have it basically built in. It's going to be it's pre-installed. You can choose whether to use uh, ZenMap, um, which is the GUI version um, of InMap. So you don't have to rely on the command line. It already has some uh, types of skins already in here for you to use. Um, but I'm going to show you the ones that I like to use in um, in both program in both of them in the GUI and the command line. So Zen Map, you type in the target of who you're going to scan or what system you're going to scan or the network you're going to scan. Um, in this case, it's usually one IP address, or you can do a whole sudden, like a whole network subnet. So, um, the ones I usually do, I usually don't do an intense scan on the GUI. I usually do, um, the quick scan plus, and I've also used TraceRap before, and I've also actually done a regular scan a few times, um, Intense scan. Sometimes I usually I usually try some of these, but not all the time. Um, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like, I'm just going to go ahead and do the intense scan. Shouldn't take too long here, and it should be finished here in a second. It's found my router. It's a DDWRT. And it shows you on the side what the host is, like Linux. It's just a guess. When it does OS scans, it or the operate operating system scans, it's just a matter of guess guessing what the system is. But it tells you um, the the hop and you know what uh, ports are open, stuff like that. Um, and it shows you like what yeah what ports were open and what it did on the scan so just basically everything is right here and you can also save stuff print it or whatever so that's what the GUI does um, I'm gonna go ahead and close that and now the terminal which is what I use the most when I do an nmap scan is just I think it's cleaner I can do more probably so um, at least I think so so this the stuff that I use in the command line for nmap is nmap dash lower, uh, lowercase s and then capital P and then the IP P address range your IP address may be different so don't copy me make sure you do and if config and then find out what yours is going to be running under. So mine's under the dot one. So I always put a zero at the end of it. So going back to what we were typing before. Okay, and then just press enter. And what it's going to do is the dash sp, what it does is it scans. Uh, it just pings those systems, finds out if they're up or not, what they are, what their host names are, my brother's computer, the router, and then mine, and then it tells you what system it might be. Um, I mean, my brother's didn't really say what his was, but it tells you what the MAC address is. He has a Linksys wireless card, so that's what his MAC address came up as or picked up. So, um, another one that I like to use, an uh, nmap-po, um, dash s, capital S, and then dash s, and then capital V, and then the, uh, IP address range. And you can also, uh, gr uh pipe it and do, like, grab to so you can narrow down your search or what you're looking for or use more if it's a big network and you can also uh 
out making an output file say um, network.txt so then it puts it in that root folder or root directory where the directory is at you're currently at so if you wanted it all as as an output so um, let's go ahead and try this uh, try this and what it will do is it's not going to ping the host is going to bypass firewalls so any system has a firewall it's just it's not going to ping it it's just going to do a different type of scan it's also doing an um, operation uh, an operate uh, operating system scan with the the O in there the dash SS is the sin uh, based scanning where it just it um, doesn't really ping it just sends a, a sin act I believe to the system or the systems on the network um, so um, hopefully this game won't be too long here and uh, actually I'm just gonna pause it so then it doesn't take too long hopefully I'll be right back alright welcome back I think the skins almost over with I think I forgot to tell you what the dash SV was actually the dash SV was um, what it does is it looks for the open ports the services running on the network and the version numbers so definitely really good um, uh, method or tack to use on your um, scans uh, this is probably one of the biggest uh, no, uh, most common scans that, uh, that I know or that I use the most so okay um, I'm gonna go up here and show you exactly what it what it shows here on the router it shows me there's UPN is you know open HTTP uh, there's a domain stuff like that uh, services running on the router it says it might have been you know Lin it's a Linux OS for DDWRT and it tells you how many that were closed ports were closed so I'm um, going down my brother he probably has some viruses or something running so um, I wouldn't be surprised if he does he's running Windows set Windows 7 and it shows a bunch of open ports right now um, it looks like actually there's some HTTP stuff on there maybe he has a website um, a um, website open or something like that running on his machine sometimes he leaves the web browser open on his machine um, but and right down here it's trying to scan backtrack it scanned mine so BT's backtrack I believe let me check my IP address yep 1.133 okay there it goes finally um yeah 1.1.141 1 is my is the Mac um, there is some Apache stuff running and stuff like that running honestly I've checked my stuff and I'm not running any services right now that I know of um, and I think Lion is kinda doing that and I'm thinking about actually going back to Snow Leopard because Lion is the, compatibi the compatibility issues for software is not good um, on my part right now I'm trying to run some software and it's not running at all or doesn't want to run or install so a lot of crashes I've had two kernel panics just about two or three kernel panics since the installation then that's not good sign um, so I never had any kernel panics so far with the Mac since I got Lion so I might go back to Snow Leopard um, Yep, and then that's just that's some basic scanning within map. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, you like I said, you can also have it go out in the output, so you can say in map dash sp and then the output file. 
So network tactics. And that will put it in the root folder. And it shouldn't take too long. That's a small scan. Okay. And then I can do ls. There's the network file. Uh, cat network dot text. And there it is. So, um, comment, you know, let me know what you think. Send me your messages. This is just a basic nmap scan. It, I think to get you guys started using nmap or zenmap. So, um, Alright guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to you guys later.